But Mr. F- seven and nine is their coach. The Rams of L.A. Mr. Seven and Nine is their coach. We can actually get fifteen minutes out of NFL pick one. Yeah, it's because we yapped for three minutes about whatever uh, at the beginning. Yeah, wedding stuff. <laughs> we we laughed about men having uh, man car snatching. Yeah, and like that, so. you can't do that. But hey, man, it's just mean and obnoxious and rude. Where's your half meter after football being back? Thirteen <laughs> over ten. <laughs> I'm very very yeah, happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm ecstatic that it's back. Good to have it back, right? Oh, thank God. You gonna try to get some tickets? Go to the Packers and uh, shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. You like good luck, huh? If I can sell my firstborn, <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna try. I, I, I'll try. I'll try and see what happens, but you never know. Amen. There's been times before where I think I ain't getting a damn ticket to the game, i.e., what Pittsburgh two years ago, mm-hmm. and where did we end up sitting? Exactly. So you you never know. Hey man, well I hope you get to go. You never know. Well I hope I, I, I hope I do too. The game is sold out, man. So. I have to take Austin with me, so I have to find two tickets. <laughs> so, we'll see. Good luck, man. We'll see. Well, well, hey man, good luck to your Jazz. Good luck to my Broncos tomorrow. May the force be um, with us. Hopefully I get to catch a little bit of the game. I know I got a bachelor party going on. You ain't going to catch jack shit at the game. But, You're going to be texting me going, what happened? <laughs> what, what, what happened? Luckily my work phone has NFL mobile, so I can try to watch some of it. No, so. what you can do is I'll give you the dish stuff. <laughs> and you can stream dish <laughs> on your phone. Hey, whatever works, man. I'm, I'm going to get it there. Hopefully I'm going to talk to you guys. Let's go to a bar. We watch one half of this game for y'all act retarded. I'm just gonna tell. I, I'd be like, look here. What, what time are you starting? <laughs> what time are you starting tomorrow? I don't know. I, I drive from down. I got. I got to go to Coco. That's gonna be like. A, so you're driving from here to Coco. Yeah. And the game does start at eight thirty. So that, here's that's what you do. You tell them you're going to be late, and we'll meet them somewhere, and you catch the first half, and then you meet them after the first half is over. Be a great idea, but I need to shower. Am I working in a hot warehouse? You come know. home, shower, then go and stop and watch the game somewhere, <laughs> and tell them you will be late because you had to go home and shower beforehand, <laughs> or shower. At, tell people at work you need to go run by their house and shower. Shower at their house and then stop and watch the game. There you go. I got it. No, I, I fixed it. Time, I so. fixed it, and then stop. Like, you'll well, you'll be in Coco. Just stop at a bar in Coco and tell them, "Look, I'll meet y'all somewhere in a minute." I had to go do some stuff, so I'm still driving down. But you're actually in Coco, so you watch the first half of the game and then go, "Where are you?" Or watch until you get or utterly pissed off. <laughs> Welcome back, football. Watch until you get utterly pissed off, and then go, "Where are y'all at?" Valid point. Valid point. I, I am, I am, I am the solver of problems. You're when it comes to, when it of, comes to sports, of I am the solver of, of problems. Because <laughs> if it would have been me, I'd have been like, I don't know where y'all at. <laughs> yeah, you would have kept it real on. You like, nah, football's back on, guys. I'd have been like, you, you what? <laughs> N- nah, I'll see you later. It's like the one dude put on Twitter. My 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 uh, my sister's getting married on Sunday. Of opening week. Of the NFL season. Man, I would have liked to see her get married. <laughs> it's great. Luckily, I don't have none of that crap to worry about. Because uh, nobody's... A, one, nobody's stupid enough in my family to do anything like that. B, I wouldn't marry nobody whose family is stupid enough to do anything on opening weekend of NFL season. <laughs> you like that? One and B. One and B. I like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you stay tuned for me and Kevin throughout the week. We will definitely be doing more since football season is underway for uh, NCAA and NFL. We'll see y'all Tuesday. So. <laughs> or Wednesday. Well, we'll definitely, yeah, we'll recap it here. I'll be back in town and we'll recap uh, week one of NFL and week two. And week two of NCAA football, which we might as well talk a little bit about that now since we didn't even talk about it. Well, I got a pack of stuff, man. It, so. it ain't going to take that long. The overrated teams got beat. All right. Break it down for us. Like Some that. of the teams, a lot of the overrated teams that I say got beat, Notre Dame, Tennessee should have lost. 
they're still way overrated. But now you've jumped, because Texas beat Notre Dame, you've jumped Texas up to number 11 already. Which is bizarre. Which is, which is dumb, because as soon as they play somebody else, they're going to lose. Yeah. As soon as they play somebody, they're going to lose, and then you're going to be like, well, they don't. Stop making, I'm telling you, stop making preseason rankings up in them. We found out FSU's got a quarterback. I don't know if it was FSU having a quarterback or Ole Miss's secondary just becoming shambles become of injury because they legit were playing four freshmen in the secondary for Ole Miss at the end of that game. Yeah. So it, it was it was crazy. Ole Miss looked good for a half until somebody had to make a drunk phone call to someone, and then it all went to shit <laughs> after someone made that drunk phone call to yeah, someone. Yeah. Which I told someone not to do. I heard about it in this day. I told someone not to do it, but they went ahead and did it anyway. And yeah. then I was like, yeah, shit, they're going to lose now. Uh. But it was it, it was a good week. It was a good weekend of college football. Alabama looking at dominant arguably team. the most dominant team again. Yeah, it was, it was, it was what we thought it was going to be. <laughs> but it was fun. It was just fun to watch football. Hey, man, I hear that. So. Make sure this fu- week, though, no one fucking playing each other. There is no top 25 games. There is no games where two people are in the top 25 playing each other this week. So welcome to Cupcakeville. <laughs> Actually, the Gators start FCC play this week. Huh? Take on Kentucky. Next week, though, after this one, we'll actually be at the game. We shall be in Gainesville. Again. Again. This time not buying medium shirts. Yes. <laughs> that is the goal. All right. Make sure you follow the podcast page at Ball and Love Court. You can find me at In the Minor CP. Kevin C2415. Awesome. You can also get the content on Podomatic. Go to In the Minor CP. Podomatic.com. You can go to our Facebook. Assume you just search us, type in Ball and Love Court Podcast. Give us a like, give us a shout. Comments, questions, suggestions, please do so. Uh, we're also on iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Windows, Google Play, and many other sites as well. I might have duplicate that, but hey, nothing's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, football is here. Enjoy week one of NFL. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>